interesting here. We're talking wonderment. We're talking the work of Sinead Young, Neo Hair, which is a very important part yeah. of you. It is indeed. <laughs> Sinead, uh, you've been teaching now in, as well as painting. Yeah. You, you're teaching yeah. at Newry. Newry High. High. Yeah. And you've yeah. A, you had yeah. someone did very well there recently. There was a good mm -hmm. success by one of the young people. Yeah, in the, the local um, True Colours exhibition yes, in Belfast. Absolutely. But we would mm -hmm. have somebody, uh, you know, chosen every year to, to be part of that. So we're really lucky. We're Andrew, very can, talented can we come in on that or not? Uh, because I, I just feel. This is a very exciting piece of work. We don't have, we're going now to the Art Centre in, in Lisburn next week to do a major piece on your exhibition. We'll dedicate a programme to it. Okay. And we're going to do that next week. But I cannot for the life of me uh, show you the detail of this now. But for me, there's lots of things happening in this picture. I'm seeing, this is John Kingerley to me, one of Ireland's great painters of the, he's English, but he's painting in Ireland, mm. down at Irie, Irie's in the Bera Peninsula. I see the journey of the people, I see them here marching into the picture. I see here the, the tall ghostly figures on this side. I'll turn it round now, you can open up now, Andrew, and I'll describe what I'm seeing. I'm just seeing wonderful, I'm seeing stalactites and stalagmites almost there encasing the ghostly figures of another time. These figures are on some kind of journey. I have no doubt about that. And the crown of the king, you'll probably think I'm mad. <laughs> oh, no. The crown of the king lies in the, at, the, at the top of the shore. In fact, the crown of the king is not on the shore. It's in the prow of the, of the longboat that's coming in. You can see, look at all these mm -hmm. things later. Mm -hmm. And then over here, we look and we see further evidence the boat is a, a twin, a twin sailed boat, a sailing boat coming into the picture, moving. It's all about moving in, moving in, into on a journey across. And you've got the, the horizon line three quarters way up, and all that lies beneath. Mm -hmm. And you're challenging us in a way to find that which lies beneath. Mm -hmm. You talk to me about this. Well, you're going to be very disappointed because this is this is actually a piece that isn't in the exhibition because I am challenging myself this time round and stepping out of my comfort zone because um, as a painter and being more comfortable painting, um, the exhibition, the, the body of work that I have produced for the exhibition is all ceramic. It's all it's all clay. Wow. So it's a, I've taken a very fine art approach to working with. Um, to work with ceramics. Yeah. So I am, um, you know, I say every day in the classroom, we need to challenge yourself, we need to think outside the box. And um, I've had to take on board a wee bit of that advice myself and, yeah. um, and embrace a material which I really enjoy using, I love using. Um, but I would suggest but to you... But it's very different. I would, I would suggest to you that Turner and Van Gogh and mm. Gauguin, they yeah. weren't ceramicists. No. They were no. painters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Kingerley isn't yeah. a ceramicist. Mm -hmm. He does, they do what mm -hmm. they do mm -hmm. magnificently. Yeah, yeah, and you do yeah. this magnificently. Yeah, and dare I suggest it. to you that being a ceramicist mm -hmm. is, is fundamentally a distraction. Um, well, you I might enjoy that's it. one way of putting it. But it's, I'm not making pretty little objects. Um, what I have created is a, a body of work which... Um, I treat the same way I would if I was working on a piece of canvas, only I'm, it's like I'm painting with clay. Mm. So it's not a, a product, it's not an object. Um, it's to be um, read in the same way that you would read a painting. So wow. there, there are, are 13 pieces. Um, What's the theme? The theme of the exhibition is reflections. Um, so it's very much about the journey of um, a masked person, you know, how we wear masks in our daily lives. Mm. So there are a series of, um, I have 10 masks, um, which are not your conventional Aztec masks or, or you know, um, decorative masks. They're, they're the mask of, of people who cover up how they're really feeling. Yeah. You know, Dude, so maybe, it's, it's a little bit about that. I understand what you're saying, and I'm just wondering whether, and whether it's reflected in your work, mm. that there comes a time in our journey into maturity yeah, yeah. that masks are, 
yeah. pushed away. I think we don't need them anymore. No, I think uh, there's so much awareness of mental health issues as yeah. well at the moment, and this is very much uh, um, exposing um, a person's vulnerability. And uh, you know, it, it's I have a sister who works for Women's Aid as a support worker, and she. Um, manages a, a program called Journey to Freedom. So I suppose in a way it's about a person's journey to freedom from suffering from from yeah. you know mental health issues. So it's it is very very deep and it's very emotive and mm. it's it's fueled with um, uh, my love of, of literature and yeah. uh, poetry and so I have brought if you like a uh, bit of painting into it and, and, and typography. So yeah. I actually print words onto the, the faces. And, and they're words things. that have so, meaning. Yeah, they are words that have meaning. And, and, and they're all, you know, they, they are, you know, poems and um, almost little positive affirmations. And, mm. you know, and to me, it just felt right, you know, um, to, do, to do that and mm. to challenge myself in that way. Because, yes, Painting I'm comfortable with, and I know I could pick the brush up tomorrow and produce another series of You're work. You're frightening me when you, you know. say, I know I could pick the brush up again tomorrow. <laughs> that presupposes that you've put the brush down, that you're concentrating uh, on ceramics. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh just God. at the moment. But I'm that, so worried you know, about this because no. I'm looking at something that mm. is so mm. beautiful here. Mm. It's mm. maybe not... It, it's maybe not taking you on the altruistic journey yeah, that yeah. the ceramics is taking you on. Yeah, but yeah. by gum, this has lifted my mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. image you? vision yeah. beyond any horizon yeah. that I've known this year yet. This is lovely. Yeah. Well, I think the whole idea behind the exhibition was uh, my, my good friend Trevor Woods, who is a local ceramicist, and he's taught for 25 years in... He um, he retired last year. He has a, his own pottery and has has been very very successful in his own right as a ceramicist. And he's been a massive influence on me and in, in teaching me the, the the trade of using clay within a classroom scenario yeah. initially. Now I've met Trevor ten years ago, and we, we worked together in the examination board. So um, I've known him for a long time, and he has he's a very very good friend. Um, and he. Has has given me that um, confidence to yeah. use it successfully yeah. within the classroom, and and you know because years ago you didn't use as many materials, yeah. you know. Whereas now, as teachers, you have to teach textiles yeah. and ceramics, and you're drawing and painting. So he was he was instrumental in let's get mm. a date for the calendar, let's get an exhibition, yeah. and that we have ten people exhibiting in in. Um, in the Island Arts Centre. And that begins next Wednesday. And that, that starts on Wednesday. And, and they're all people in the evening. Half, at half seven is the yeah. official opening. Um, and we have ceramicists, painters, textile designers. Um, you know, we have a, a lovely range of work mm. there. Mm. Um, and they're all people that have touched our lives in some way. Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm. past pupils, mm. um, colleagues friends, mm. we, our good friends that I was at university with. Yes. So there are people that we've met through our own journey yeah. um, and through our own lives and careers. I mentioned, uh, I mentioned John Kingerley to you yeah. down yeah. in Aries in Cork. John paints with a beautiful light coming off the Atlantic mm. down in the, in the Skelligs, Skellig Michael mm. uh, down there in the Beira. He also takes himself off to Morocco uh, and he nice. paints in Morocco in, <laughs> yeah. at another time of the year. Yeah. And uh, I, I had the great joy of doing a documentary with him, Le mm. Voyage. And, mm. it, mm. and he has a technique which kind of, it's not, uh, it's almost as though he's applying the, 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 the pigment. Yeah. Uh, layer by layer by layer. Yeah. And then digging into it and revealing yeah. that which is coming. Yeah. And it's it's not ceramics it's not ceramics uh, but neither is it just the painting on of color and leaving it at that yeah, he's yeah. working the color as you would work the soil of the mm -hmm. the, the kind of boglands of of west cork and yeah. whatever and yeah. uh, 
I, I just can't get over the beauty mm -hmm. of your painting. Well, thank you very no, much. No two ways about it. Thank it's, you. It's lovely. Yeah. So when did your painting start for you? By the way, I see great similarities in your, not your painting, but personally, mm -hmm. in members of your family I knew. Oh, your uncle go. Dan, <laughs> I see him in you, and that's mm -hmm, taken mm -hmm. me back. It's mm -hmm, quite a mm -hmm. Dan O'Hare was a very good friend of mine, and uh, we were in scouting together, and uh, we grew up together. Mm -hmm. And he died on his own in Africa, mm -hmm. uh, where he was swimming. Mm -hmm. Perhaps went to m help somebody, mm -hmm, I believe. Mm -hmm, and that, mm -hmm. that was, these things happen. Mm -hmm, yeah. So let, let's come back to this then, and and s tell me when your talent as an artist, began to peep its head above the, the parapet? Gosh. It, there isn't a, a, a significant age or day or time when I, I remember a light bulb being switched on. Yeah. I, I do, my, my memories of primary school are, are very, I, I, I really don't have any memory beyond sort of first year in St Mary's. Mm. and. I think whenever my it was a, my teacher at that time, Mrs. Mackey, recognised mm. that I had something, that I had some potential, um, and and really that was probably the first time I thought, oh, I'm actually quite good at this, Aye. Um, and I enjoyed it. I loved art. I, I you know, and, and really, so it was probably from, you know, as I say, secondary school. Whenever mm. you get a chance to to start enjoying mm. art, and you know, art wouldn't have been. We wouldn't have done a great deal of art. In it's also very school. hard to make your living from art, you know, these days, unless you're a huge success. If well, it's becoming um, much more prolific now. Art, but I'm thinking recession you know, and things but, like that. But the, but it was the, the out of all of the industries, the creative industries were the least affected by the recession, which yeah, I people find. People have stopped quite, buying paintings. But it, but art is not just about paintings anymore. Well, Maybe, take take know, the wider thing. Take mm, the wider mm -hmm. thing. Mm. The, the per if you go down to uh, if you go down to Dublin to uh, Adams say, uh, yeah. and go in and talk to them there, mm. they will mm. tell you that people aren't mm. shelling out mm. as much as they mm. used to. Uh -huh. yeah. That yeah. whether it be a, a sculpt a sculpture, or whether mm. it be a painting, yeah. it's easily pushed on the back burner. Yeah. And not, not but they're not happen. necessities, are they? No, most people is, think. Is, but I think having said that, you know, maybe they are necessities. Yeah. If, you can, well, if you can bring people's vision into something yeah, that yeah. they haven't seen, yeah, yeah. that's important. But, uh, you know, as, as we were saying, I just, you know, now artists are very good at diversifying and, yeah. um, you know, into other areas. And if you're a creative thinker, you, you know, you, you don't just pigeonhole yourself and think of yourself as, well, I'm an artist and I, I can, mm. you know, can I make a living out of just producing paintings? Yes. Artists are, are unique in that they reinvent themselves all the time. And I suppose that's a wee bit like yeah. what I'm, I'm not reinventing myself, but I'm diversifying off into another uh -huh. area, but another discipline. Yeah, isn't it interesting? You can be a ceramicist and uh, a painter at mm -hmm. the same time. Because they're, yeah. they're so totally different in ways. They're just different materials. It's mm. still an expression. It's still mm. a response to an, an emotion, a feeling, a life mm. experience. You know, it still has, has the ability to transform you to, you know, yeah. that place, that time. Yeah. Um, and that, that's the wonderful thing about art, that it's escapism. And yeah. for me, it's very much a, it's a therapy and it's a part of my life I can't imagine. Not, yeah. be, you know, being able to, to draw. Will you be there next Wednesday night? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And will you talk me through the meaning yeah. of the ceramic mm -hmm. pieces you'll have there? Yeah. I'd yeah. love to see yeah. this. I'm so yeah. looking forward yeah. to it because yeah. any person that can do... Uh, there is a hint of it there, is there? Well, there's a, a little, there's a yeah, little... There's a little This is piece. something this here. A journey is a journey. Uh, a destination. Yeah, that's part Happiness of it, is a journey. Not a destination. Not a destination. Mm. Yeah. That's one of the wee pieces there. You probably can't really. It's very, very small. Where, where do I see now? This little fellow. This, <laughs> the fish here. <laughs> no, this no, one. this one here. Wow, the floral head. Yes. It's almost like the chain mail. <laughs> it's almost like the chain mail of battle being turned into <laughs> something quite beautiful, you know. Yeah, yeah. And look, there's the hint of the warrior here mm -hmm. in the yeah. in the helmet. Yeah. And so those are now they're all from the different different artists that are, are exhibiting with us. So yeah. it is quite it's very different. It's not you know your conventional exhibition. It's a show of 
well, uh, you I've know, lots of different Next meetings. Wednesday, the 15th, I've got to make an exception and yeah. go out yeah. in the evening and visit this here. It's next Wednesday, the, the 15th of April, mm -hmm. 7.30, and it's in the Island Arts Centre in Lisburn. Mm -hmm. What's 20 minutes down the road. It's 20 minutes. It's a lovely yeah. big gallery. We're actually yeah. taking over two gallery spaces. Yes. Um, and it's, it's, it's well worth a visit. It really is. Um, there's some very young artists um, exhibiting with us as well. So well, we wish you well. How, what's Thank the state you. of art at Newry High? Super. It's great. Well, well, I have to say that, don't I? <laughs> really. yeah. um, no, they're, they're all um, in the middle of their exams at the minute. So, yeah, I think we're just going from strength to strength. They're, they're still surprise me. Um, and that's a good thing. You know, they still, they still always produce the goods at the end of the day. And they're well, as Albert Einstein said about Ooh. you, <laughs> that's a nice one, isn't it? Art is the expression of a profound thought. Yeah. In the simplest of ways. Well, I think that just sums it up beautifully. Yeah. It really is, you know. It's and uh, God help the rest of us who are not artists.